that's basically the surge attached to this uh, particular event. Uh, and so, uh, and this is focusing on a 24-hour period where we basically had the maximum wind. And you can literally see here the water piling up here in the New York Bight and the South Shore of Long Island here uh, at this time. And, then, and this is the water that's going to get into the harbors and the inlet that's going to be causing uh, the problems here. <clears throat> and so uh, I'll show you the animation of, of the battery area here in a second. But here's our storm situated close to our climatology near southern New Jersey. Uh, and we have our uh, east wind here coming in uh, that we saw already. Uh, the good news is that for this case, we did quite well. I mean, we got within 10% here of our peak water level. And so when we showed this to our collaborators at the National Weather Service and so forth, they were very excited because uh, th these are things that uh, they're not used to seeing is being able to predict these type of high impact surge events uh, for uh, an area that has uh, uh, 5, 10 million people. You can see uh, uh, this is an animation showing the water coming in, and then you'll actually see parts of the island here uh, flooding as a result of the water going over. Uh, the only thing that's protecting New York City, there's not much. There's piers, there's a little bit of a seawall, about a meter and a half, maybe two meters. There's not much at all. And so if the water is ending over about a meter and a half, it starts causing problems uh, in that particular area. And, uh, and so this was, still, this was a, 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 nor a nor'easter where it, uh, it's not unusually strong, it just happened to be there and last about a day and it caused this kind of problem. What about the South Shore? Well, the South Shore we, we've been struggling with with regard to using AdSERC. And I'm going to show you some promising stuff here in a few minutes, but using the AdSERC model, we tend to underestimate the South Shore by about a quarter to a half meter. This is our grid on the South Shore. It looks impressive. Uh, there's a lot of nodal points here, uh, but we're finding that uh, it's taking a lot more than what you're seeing here. There's about 20,000 nodes here in the South Shore, and we're still under predicting the surge here in this, uh, at, uh, at uh, Lindenhurst, for example. So the blue line is the model, the red is the observed. So the question is, what's, what's going on here at this point? And it's so difficult, in fact, that if you go to the NOAA site and you try to pull up a, a forecast of water level, and emergency managers have to deal with this every day, uh, is that so there's no point for the, the South Shore. Uh, you're not going to find a point to click a button and, and get the water levels because uh, uh, their model does not even, has even coarser resolution than what we have. So there's no way they could actually try to forecast what's going on down there. Uh, and simulating it using uh, not AdSort, but actually a different model called FDCOM. Uh, and it, uh, it has the advantage that you can actually include more vertical levels uh, uh, and run it as well. <laughs> but as this goes through here, uh, we were very impressed uh, as this uh, was running because uh, we, for the first time we were able to see a realistic water depiction here on the South Shore. As I run through this again, what's going to happen is that you're going to see uh, the red is basically going to be a high tide. And then as it goes, this is a high tide situation. And you can see the high water levels, and blue is low tide. And then as you go through, you're going to see the water level increase dramatically on the west end. And this is because of a strong east wind that's piling up water here uh, in this area around uh, Freeport, right here around this time. So it was very nice to see the very realistic structure, lower water levels, higher water levels. You can see all the complexity here of, of, of water varying just within a few kilometers of each other. Uh, showing uh, the, the outgoing tide in the red, the strong current, and then you can see the incoming here into the inlet. And then here comes our surge event uh, with current vectors out of the east and then flooding into, uh, into the, into the uh, inlet, and that's what caused here our higher water level. So for the first time, we're actually seeing things that we haven't seen before, and that is actually realistic depiction of water going in and out of our inlet. Uh, things that we haven't been able to do.